In this ukulele tutorial, we're gonna talk about seventh chords. I'm gonna show you the difference between the C major seven, dominant seven, minor seven, minor seven flat five, and the diminished seven. So check this out. Now seventh chords are different than triads. Triads are three note chords, but the seventh chords are gonna be four note chords. So everything will be based off C. And even if you just get one thing out of this lesson, I think this first chord to C major seven is a cool chord. So check this out. What I'm doing here is getting my pinkies on the fourth string, fifth fret, with my third finger on the third string, fourth fret, my second finger on the second string, third fret, and then my first finger on the first string, second fret. So this is C major seven. Now we get all these notes from the C major scale. So if I play the C major scale, I'm gonna play it here. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. And so the C major seven is gonna have the first note of the scale, which is C, the third note of the scale, which is E, the fifth note of the scale, which is G, and then the seventh note of the scale, which is B. So C, E, G, B. And if I play this, that's exactly the order. C, E, G, and B. The next chord is the C dominant seven. Now the C dominant is exactly the same as the C major seven, except it has a flat seventh. And remember the, what note is in the seventh of the scale? C, D, E, F, G, A, B. So we're gonna take this B note, which happens to be on our first string, second fret, and I'm gonna flat it, so I'm gonna go one fret to the left. So all I'm gonna do with my finger in here is just reach out my first finger to the first string, first fret. Now I play, everything else is the same. The pinky's the same, the third finger, and the second finger is the same. And now I play this, and I have the dominant seven, right? So simple as that, back to C major seven. Move my first finger back one fret, and C dominant seven. All right, the next one is the minor seven, so C minor seven. So the difference between a minor seven chord and a dominant chord is only the flat third, okay? So what note is a third of C minor seven? We got C, the E note is. So this E note right here, which we were playing on the third string, fourth fret, is E, but we gotta flat it, so we gotta go one fret to the left, and that moves it down to the third string, third fret. All right, then we have to change my fingering a little bit because it's a little tough to just do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move my, well, my pinky will stay the same on the fourth string, fifth fret. Then my second finger will be on the third string, third fret. Now my third finger will be on the second string, third fret. And then my first finger is on the first string, first fret. So here we go. And the notes are C, E flat, G, and B flat. So that's a minor seven. The next chord is minor seven flat five, which is also called a half diminished chord. And it's gonna be just like the minor seven, except you're also gonna flat the fifth of the chord. And what note is the fifth? Well, the fifth is the G, right? C, D, E, F, and G. So we're gonna flat it to G flat. Well, the G that we're playing is here on the second string, third fret. So in order to play G flat, I just have to move it back one fret. And now I'm gonna go back to a fingering that we already had. Remember the C major seven? It's gonna be just like this, except all three, one, two, and three are gonna move back one fret. So now what's happening is my pinky is on the fourth string, fifth fret. That doesn't change for any of these chords. Now my third finger is on the third string, third fret. My second finger is on the second string, second fret. And my first finger is on the first string, first fret. So this is now the C minor seven flat five, and the notes are C, E flat, G flat, and B flat. And then the last chord is the C diminished seven, so check this out. Now all I have to do for this one if I'm playing the C minor seven flat five is just simply take off my first finger. Now what's gonna happen with this one is you're gonna double flat the seventh. 
Okay, so remember of the scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, that's the seventh, so you're gonna flat it not only once to B flat, but you're gonna flat it again to B double flat. And B double flat is the same as the A note. You wanna call it B double flat, but it's the same as A. So now, it's gonna be this chord. Okay, so now, well, my pinky stay the same, but now my third finger's still on the third string, third fret. My second finger's on the second string, second fret, and now I'm just playing open first string, and this is C diminished seven. And notes are C, E flat, G flat, and then B double flat for that one. All right, so let's just go through each chord real quick. C major seven, C dominant seven, C minor seven, C minor seven flat five, and C diminished seven. Okay, we'll play each one. We'll just let it ring for a whole note. Three, four, so you got C major seven, two, three, dominant seven, three, minor seven, new fingering here, two, three, minor seven, flat five, new fingering, and then diminished seven. There's your seventh chords. Hopefully you got a couple new shapes here, and when you see these chords pop up on your songs, you can grab something new and not play just the same thing you always do. But I wanted you to get a little theory out of this too and understand the difference of all those seventh chords, not only by the shapes and the notes, but also how they sound, right? So that's gonna do it for this lesson.